Um, so I, I, I watched the, the, the press conference. I was a bit disappointed. Not one journalist asked Hector a question at the press conference. Uh, you know, all the questions were directed either to Tank or Calvin Ford. Uh, did Hector or you feel a little bit disrespected? You guys took a, you know, stop training camp, took a trip across the country for this press conference and not a single question was asked to your fighter? Well, you know, I, I don't know what Hector felt. And uh, for me, I, you know, I don't care if they ask me any questions, but I felt disrespected in, for him in terms of, hey, man, this guy's coming off beating you know, a guy like Colbert, like I said, a 40 to one underdog, okay, 50 to one, whatever you want to call it. It was a huge underdog. Um, and, I, and, yeah, I took it, it. It was disrespectful to me in terms of this guy's an Olympian. He's undefeated. He's a world champion. You know, he's coming off doing things that uh, very few people, whether it's uh, Shakur, whether it's uh, Devin Haney. Think about taking a fight on 19 days notice against Chris Colbert who's only lost four rounds. 19 days notice. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and to do what he did. So, yeah, to me, it was, it, was, it was disrespectful. But that being said, um, it's just that much more fuel for the fire. And, and at the end of the day, I, I'm sure they're going to want to, you know, interview him after he's victorious on January 7th. So, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it for that. Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, do, uh, so obviously we know Tank already has a fight scheduled with Ryan Garcia. Um, do And that's a big money fight. I, I think we could both agree on that. Sure. Are, are, are you a bit afraid that, let's say, Hector wins 7-5, 8-4, that when it goes to the scorecards, it kind of goes the other way just because, you know, this big business that's about to go on. Is there any concern uh, of that happening? I mean, you're always concerned because you, you, certain rounds can be subjective, right? Um, so you, you have a concern with that. And, and is that on the judge's mind where they could be swayed? But uh, I think if we go out, we take care of business um, the way I think that we should. Um, you know, I, I think, I think things will work themselves out for, you know, like I said, rounds are subjective, but at the end of the day, uh, it, it, it's hard to go against public opinion. So if something like that did happen, the people can see what it, what it is and what, for what it is and, and what, it, what it's worth. So uh, hopefully that's not going to be the case. Hopefully everybody's just has professionalism, but like I said, things, people can get swayed, you know, get caught up in, in certain things and uh, but hopefully it do it, that doesn't happen that doesn't transpire because i feel very confident uh hector's going to be victorious in this fight uh two this is a two-part question do you feel you need a knockout to win and does hector carry enough power to knock out tank i don't know that we necessarily need a knockout to win um but that would be nice but uh <laughs> for sure yeah, that, that being said uh I think Hector is capable of putting anybody out in any given time, you know, and uh, so uh, he, 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 he carries a good punch. I think at 135, we're going to be that much better, stronger, and, and, and ready to rock. Uh, that, that was – you actually led into my next question. Uh, the, the moving up in weight, does that concern you at all? Hector uh, – only had three fights at 130, originally was at 126 pounder. Then, you know, now after three fights at 130, is fighting at 135. Is there any concern of him moving up in weight? Or is that a point of, uh, you know, worrisome or anything like that? No, he's got a good size frame. Um, unfortunately for me, I, I was able to work with Robert Guerrero, who turned was a 122 pounder, won his first world title at 126. And then went all the way to 47 and won a world title. Henry Armstrong, Robert Guerrero, Manny Pacquiao, I think, are the only featherweights uh, to win a welterweight championship. So I know a little bit about uh, preparing guys and moving up in weight classes. And, and fortunately for us, you know, he has the frame that uh, we can get the job done in, in that regard. And I'm, so I'm very confident in him with this fight. Okay. What, what, what's the energy like in the gym now knowing that one of your – fighters and one of your in the case of the other fighters one of your gym mates is you know preparing for a huge fight against tank davis one of the top five most most popular fighters in the sport oh you can definitely feel the difference in the energy that's for sure and the other fighters you know gravitating 
uh, to Hector. And uh, obviously, you know, he's taking the, the role as the alpha in the gym right now, you know, and everybody's kind of, it's kind of interesting to see the heavyweights looking at him. You know, I got two, two Olympic heavyweights and I got another uh, heavyweight uh, who had like 300 amateur fights. So when you see the big heavyweights, they're looking at Hector like he's the big dog. He's the heavyweight. So <laughs> it's great to see, you know. No, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. 